Right, question 23 is the last uh, question on the paper, and this is a volume of 3D shapes question. So we can see here that uh, we've got the diagram here, it says a cylinder has a bay radius x and height 2x, cone has radius x and height h. The volume of the cylinder and the cone are equal. So the volumes are equal, find h in terms of x. Well, this is fairly kind of standard question for this kind of uh, uh, at this part of the paper. So you've got to find an expression for the volume of a cylinder, first of all. Well, we know that that, the volume of a cylinder, so if we do the cylinder in blue, we know it's the base, which is uh, pi r squared, and then we know it's times the height. So let's get that an expression for the volume. So we know we've got pi um, x squared is the radius squared times the height, which is 2x. So we put all that together, you get 2 pi x cubed. Actually, this is straightforward. Now if I look at the cone in red, uh, the, on the formula sheet at the front you have an expression for the volume of the cone and it is one third pi r squared times the height. So that's one third pi, the radius is the same, so it's x squared, and the height in this case is just h. So we get one third pi h x squared, one third pi h x squared. Now the key point is that they are equal, that the volumes are equal. So we can make these two expressions equal. We can make the uh, cylinder equal the cone. So let's do that. Uh, I might just come over here for this. So if I just get a dotted line, I just put that there, and then Let's make the volume of the cylinder, which is pi, uh, sorry, 2 pi, let's try that again, 2 pi x cubed equal to the volume of the cone, which is 1 third pi h x squared. And then if I just carry on and solve this, I'm just going to carry on, let's turn to black. So we can see on both sides of this equation, well if I times by 3 first of all, I get 6 pi times by 3 to get rid of the third, 6 pi x cubed is equal to pi h x squared, and then I can divide both sides by pi, so I get 6 x cubed is equal to hx squared, and then if I divide both sides by x squared, I'm going to get a 6x here, and I'm just going to get an h here. We want to find h in terms of x, which is what we've done. Our answer is just 6x. Have a go at that. All we did was um, go back over it if you need to, rewind, uh, or pause at various points. We found the volume and expression for the volume of the cylinder. We did the same thing for the cone, we made them each equal each other and we just kind of rearranged those equations or did the best we possibly could with them and we got down to this expression here. Done.